Okay, I thought I would do the other one with this up. Um, that was my other one that I'd done a while ago. Oh, yeah, quite a while ago. So I bought two of these at the time. Well, I don't, I haven't seen them since. But I'm going to make some up myself. A tiny bit smaller because I actually felt they was a bit long. You know, I think they would look better about here. So, but that's the ones that I got. But yeah, now I've got my laser cutter. I can actually cut these out myself. So, she's no problem. Um, I've got a few of these about, but I think you can buy them anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to do something with this one. I'm going to use paint. I'm not going to use any paper. I'm going to gesso it first. And dry that off. And then I'm going to paint it. Um, I'm going to use, I want, because I'm going to do a Halloween one, I'm going to use some Halloween colours. I've got these, but I've got some gold and I've got this one here, was my favourite colour. And I've got some bronze and different things. Well, just going to see what happens. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm using yet because I'm not using a background paper. I, I've got to start from literally from scratch. So let's have a paintbrush. So it'll be a matter of building up until I'm happy with it. And then I'll rust this up after as well. And I want to do some, um, you know, texture paste to, to create some texture as well in the background. So that it does I need a little bit of gesso. I'm not worried about any of that. And, you know, paint that as well. <laughs> Give it a base for the, the rust paste to stick to. Just protects it a bit. I'm really not worried how this goes on. <laughs> so do the back exactly the same, get it dry, and then I will be back. Okay, it's not totally dry, but that's all right. I'll just put a blob of black gesso there. Black paint is fine. It's just that I had a bit of gesso because I want to mix that in as well. Um, I'm just going to use the base colours. I'm going to use a bit of this copper, I think, with a bit of black. So... cover up all that gesso except I'm not really worried about on here because that's going to be painted anyway but might as well do a bit <laughs> and I'm not worrying about my brush strokes either I'm going to do the back because it's all going to be sort of dark. So it's Halloween. A little bit too much. Oh well. So that copper well, I've got there mixed with that black has given a nice colour. Yeah. 
Okay. A bit of a dry. Okay, right. Um, shall we use? No, I think I'm going to do the <laughs> um, like the embossing, the texture paste now because it's all got to be repainted once I've done that. So, but I've got. I'm getting a feel for uh, what I'm doing here now. Yeah, and I'm liking the colour. So that's great. Um, stencil. I'll choose one. I think. Um, should we do, might do the brick wall one actually, that might be quite nice around the outside, yeah I am, I am going to do that one, okay, and texture paste, yep, yeah, so um, I do this first and I don't have to do that, but just because I, I get a feel for what I'm doing with it, which is actually quite important for me. Right, okay, I'm going to use the Distress College Medium, Collage Medium, the crazy one, all right, because I actually want more texture as well. And I have got to be careful of that paint there because I can guarantee that I will be um, <laughs> going into it <laughs> and it will be everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> So the middle is going to be covered. So I'm going to just go about there, I think. And then let's go towards the edge. And I'm not sort of worrying too much because I don't want it perfect, yeah? On it, very textured, so I think things are going to be stuck there, so, okay. Just do that. And I'm also just going to, so I'll just carry on up there a bit with a bit of texture. Okay. Okay, and we do the other side. Let's put that in here. Still a bit wet now. <laughs> there any bits? Just scrape off. And I haven't got any water up here, so I will spray mine with water and clean before I come back to you. Okay. Okay. 
said doesn't look like it's ended suddenly. There we go. Okay, that's um, yeah, a little bit dry. That's not too yeah, that's quite dry. Um, I, I will will say if you artificially dry it like I do on the heater, and sometimes um, it doesn't always crack crackle or graze. Okay, that is if you leave it to dry naturally, it seems to craze really well. So like I say I'm not worried because I've got loads of texture in here, and it's not really going to be seen like that. So fine with me. Right, so I'm just gonna go over that now I'm going to mix a bit of black in with that this for the base so get that covered really nice little texture there so quite happy with that Do want a tiny bit more black. <coughs> Ooh, I think I've got enough on the outside. <laughs> Tell you, me and black. <laughs> I was the same with hair dye. I used to get everywhere. And then I can go for lunch while this is drying. And wash my hands <laughs> before we decorate. I only got the black gesso there's no preference really it's just that it was here so it's the closest my black paints the other side of the room so Right, dry that off and then I'm going to put some orange over the top and maybe a bit of purple. I'm actually really liking it as it is so I might even go back to this year. I'll just see what this is like. Oh, this is fluorescent I think or iridescent they say. I've got, you know, I'm contaminating it. I'm all right with that. Um, no, don't like that. I liked the green, but I don't like the orange. So, now we're going to go a nice muddy colour because it's not dry. Okay, what I'm going to do, I want a little bit more black. Okay, I want the black to go in the grooves a little bit more. Then I'm going to use a bit of the green, like I've done. And then I'm going to use silver on the top. Okay, to bring all that to life. So I'm sort of getting it in there, getting it all that black in there, but I'm going to wipe it off. So it just goes in the crevices. So 
So now I sort of, I can tell what I want, what's happening. So, it's great. And I get rid of that. And then, clean my brush off a bit. And I'm sort of doing a, a lighter touch here. And we know all this bit is going to be covered up anyway. Yeah, so it's all right to still have a play and see if you can blend in and just see what happens. Yeah, and just, I preferred the copper than the orange, if you know what I mean. That's, that worked loads better. Okay, loving that. All right, so it's just a matter of sort of going over and blending in a little bit more and, you know, it'll change again when we put the silver stuff on the top. Gilding wax. I like that. Okay, that's pretty grungy. Okay, it's looking lovely, um, but I did forget the purple. Um, I do want to use a bit of purple here and there because I, I think I might be using a bit of purple net. So I am going to just put a bit. It's really dark. It's like violet is called this one. So I am going to put a bit of purple in here and there. I need to brush, really. <coughs> Need a brush for this. Blend it in a little bit. Yep, that worked. It was the orange I didn't like. That didn't work at all for me. Um, this is just acrylic paint, so if you've got the Tim Holtz um, Distress paint, that's fine. That's cool, that's great. I've got only got a couple of them, so. Only because I've got loads of this. Just to use this in my um, art journaling and... Okay. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That works lovely. Okay, now I'm going to use the silver over the top. So I tend to use the bronze and that other one more than this, really. And then I'm just going to start to go over there.
bit, uh, a little blob there, so there we go. Bring it back a tiny bit more. It actually really likes that colour underneath. So this is just a baby white. Don't want it everywhere. Okay, perfect. Oh, there's some really good texture on there. It's great. Right, okay. I'll leave that alone while I go and have lunch and it'll just settle down. Oh, I'll tell you what we will do. I'm going to paint that and then I'll have my lunch. I do have a few of these because um, I do like the rust effect, so... I've got, these are the Prima ones. Okay, I think they come in together as a set, I think. Okay, I actually did get those from America, I think. These I got off of Amazon, I think. And I do like the green, this one. The brown of this one is drying up a bit, but it's okay. I still use it. It creates wonderful rust. Like I say, this is it's got pretty ganja. I'm sure, you know, put a bit of sand in grit paste with some colour might work. So it's just gonna start to build up in here. Okay, so it's quite lumpy this one, but it serves its purpose on the rust, so I don't mind. didn't check to see if they were water-based or not because most probably just add a bit of water to it if not we can find a bit of alcohol all right let's put a bit of this one on it's really thick <laughs> Yeah, and you use old brushes <laughs> with this. I'm doing just using a bit of black gesso on here because that's not covering, that's not catching hold of that. Right, I stuck my finger. Just put a bit of gesso on and then I'll go over that bit, yeah. Just to sort of blend it in with the, the layer below a little bit. That's building up lovely. Just do it a bit more there. It's a bit flat there. Okay. 
Right. Stick a bit in there. <laughs> Let go over that as well. Make it look a bit more sinister. I think we're done for now. Now I'm going to leave that dry and then we'll see what happens. Okay, let's start decorating then. Okay, I've got some few bits around me here. Okay, I think I've got, I've inked up what I think I'm going to use. Uh, might be a few more bits. Um, I think, I'm not sure where the hot glue is going to go on that metal. So that I want, that's one of the Tim Holtz ones. I didn't get to wash my hands after all. That's because I didn't go up for lunch. I had a biscuit instead. Uh, a bit naughty, but um, let's work. Not sure. I might, might, yeah, I wouldn't, um, hot glue doesn't really like metal, but. I haven't got the hot glue on anyway. It's about the moon, that one I'm going to use. Thought that could go there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of net in some of this. So I'm going to put this down first because I'm using a, this, a this scary lady. And I've already backed her on 3D foam. So I sort of want a bit of net and a bit of that. And then a bit of net as well. Let's put it like that for now, okay, because I'm going to fill up this area anyway. All right, let's have a look. I might want a tiny bit more net just to come out over the edge a bit. Um, what have we got? Oh, that one and that one, I think. All right, let's glue that on first, I think. Like that, I think. Right, I'll tell you what I must do. Let's put this at the bottom. I'm not sure. That could lie quite flat there. Now I'm going to...
I just want a little bit less <coughs> over there. And put a bit of silver in this bat here. I have got to make sure I've got some of this in that hand. This is broken, so I was just seeing if I could use it anywhere. Yeah, no, I won't. Oh, right. So she is going like that. Okay, we want something behind like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, oops. Got another little bat here that I'll most probably put somewhere like that. Okay. I'm not sure about this. This is just me. I'm just playing. I'm definitely going to have some flowers because I never use these flowers. I need another dark purple one. <clears throat> And they're ideal for things like this. It's a bit lumpy for cards, so.
Okay. Right, now we've got to do sort of something fluffy. <laughs> Black and a bit of net up here. Let's cut a strip off, shall we? I have a dangle as well, but I'm just doing this for a minute. Yeah, with a bit of black. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I want to dangle actually because I quite like that that seeing that. See, it's gone more purple and black, isn't it? <laughs> There's no green. <laughs> oh, well. That's the way it happens. That's the way <laughs> my mind has worked today. Okay. <clears throat> you see what I do with the ribbon? I twist it and then stick down. Just have to wait until that just takes a bit. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to call that finished, I think. Yep, that's my Halloween one. There we go. You can see some, you know, the, the everything that we've done behind, just poking through. That. There we go. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. That's um, you know, another one to go with my other one. <laughs> totally different. So yeah, from now on, I've got to make them, and I'm I will, I think make them a little bit shorter than what they are. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.